I felt very conflicted about making this video because I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to cash in on some kind of trend for my own views and for my own subscribers. That is not why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video and talking about this topic is to kind of answer a question that people have been mentioning and people have been asking. If you aren't aware of the situation, this cartoon reviewer named Cosmodor, who is 20 years old, was in a relationship with somebody who was 16 years old. Now, Cosmodor on his Twitter has mentioned several times that they have not had any sexual interactions and they haven't said anything beyond I love you, so everybody be sure to go and thank Cosmodor for not being as pedophile as he could have possibly been. A nice round of applause for him. And what happened after that is he basically, after he was caught, nobody really said anything about it, nobody really mentioned anything. And people interpreted nobody saying anything about it as people being complacent with him being a pedophile. And being somebody who knew the victim quite well, I just want to right out of the gate say that that was not the situation at all. And... I really wish people would stop fighting with people online about this. Even I, even I in the heat of the moment, even I said, like, what the fuck, dude? You knew about this the whole time, and you're saying that you now, you just now f found out about it? That was a poor reaction to me, because it was just me reacting to the situation instead of thinking about my next move. So, this all started basically when L.S. Mark on his Twitter mentioned that he just found out about some new information between Cosmodor and the victim. And, I'll be honest here, his wording was dishonest at the very least because he didn't just find out about it he definitely knew about it but people are saying that he was quiet about it because he was cool with it when that wasn't the case at all the reason why everybody chose to be quiet about it is because everybody that knew about it kind of knew the victim in a sense and the victim was insisting that everybody just stay quiet about it because they didn't want to be known as the person who canceled Cosmodor they didn't want that reputation following them for the rest of their life. This is just a little footnote I wanted to add in here. Uh, people were saying that L.S. Mark was defending Cosmodor for being the way he was. And I don't think that's really an accurate statement. I mean, even I said that he's defending him, but that was me just parroting what other people were parroting, what other people were parroting. When the truth is, he wasn't really doing that. He was just... Uh, being quiet about the situation like everyone else did. And if your definition of protecting Cosmodor is withholding information and being quiet about it, then that's something that 99% of the accusers are also guilty of. And L.S. Mark only kept the information secret because the victim wanted it to be that way like Ed said earlier. Which is another reason why I was hesitant to make this video, because I didn't want to escalate the situation higher and higher than it actually was. But this was just a personal obligation that I felt, because I felt like this just had to be said, that everybody who knew about it, they were insisted by the victim, please, please don't tell anybody. And I'm not saying this to, like, throw the victim under the bus. Victim blaming is abhorrent. This is just me trying to clear the air. And Daft Pina, he might have mentioned this in his video talking about it, but I'll be honest, I'm not a very big fan of Daft Pina's content, and I pretty much know everything about the situation already. There's nothing in that video that would benefit me personally from watching it, since I know basically the entire situation. Speaking of that video, I just, I just want to call this out real quick. Uh, Daft Punk... The fuck you doing putting fucking advertisements on this video trying to expose a pedophile? Like, your intentions are good, I'm sure, by making this video, and I'm glad that the information is out there. But like, why do you want to profit and benefit from this? I don't want anybody going out there and finding Daft Pina and harassing him. Don't do that at all, this is just a misjudgment, and, and I'm sure after he hears about it, he's probably gonna turn the ads off, but like, come on, man. Come on, really? But just to recap, the reason why everybody was quiet about it 
was because it was kind of a, a dilemma that people had to suffer. Because if they told everybody about how Cosmodor is a pedophile, then the victim would forever be known as the person who got Cosmodor cancelled. And even when people said, we'll keep you anonymous, we'll keep you anonymous, they were worried about Cosmodor saying who they were. They were worried about someone who knew who they were talking about it and mentioning who they are because the information's out there. It's a dilemma because if you talk about it, you might lose this person as a friend who didn't want it to go out and to be public. It could be embarrassing for her. She says that she was fine with it and that it's over and taken care of. And if you hear these things enough and you think these things, then you're gonna be like, okay, I won't tell anyone. And that's the reason that everybody was quiet about it. And it genuinely props to LS Mark, props to Pie Guy for talking out about it at all. And I know that this decision might seem easier to you if you weren't involved with it. You probably are thinking, I would have 100% spoken out about it because just something like that can't be forgiven. It's a very valid reason. And if you personally decide that they should have spoken out about it and they lose your respect over it, I mean, that's your prerogative, but I want to make the motive of why they were quiet about it clear. They weren't doing it to protect Cosmodor, despite what some people will say. They were doing it to protect the victim. It's a tough, tough scenario, but all the information's out there anyways. This is just me clearing one small detail up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video came off as me trying to benefit from this situation. Let me leave that to Daft Pina. Obviously, this video isn't going to be monetized, but I hope to see you guys back for something more energetic, something more comedic, something that isn't as PSA-like as this was meant to be. Hope you have a great day. See you later.